Hey, Get Fox here. So we got Sunday mailbag. I did that wrong. You know what day it is? Sunday mailbag. Oh man, I'm pretty out of uh, tune here. You know, I took a week break, and that's the sponsor today. It is a week break. Uh, also known, also seen as the review of my pop and lock dance from. I don't know where I'm going. All right, first question, Logan Johnson. Hey Fox, what are some of the legends that rolled out this year that didn't get an upgrade that you hoped to? I'm pretty PO that Stray Hand didn't get one yet. It would have made a perfect sense for this promo. He's talking about uh, the promo we just got for 4th of July. Uh, so maybe Stray Hand gets an ultimate legend in the next couple weeks. Sterling Sharp, Cunningham. Uh, we just got Walter Payton, which I mentioned in a reply. Uh, I'm on green maybe, but he's kind of low on the list. Curtis Martin should get one. He was out really early in the year. Um, and I, I'm really hoping we get a crazy ultimate legend Night Train Lane. Because Night Train Lane, I think, is my favorite player in Mutt. With the versatility he provides to defenses. Uh, Mike Honcho himself, hey, got Fox New Viewer. Interested in your take on zone coverage. Have you been able to notice a difference in zone coverage stats between 90 and 95? I can't really say I have. Have you done any testing? I've tried, but I can't see a difference. This is like 10 points, like 90 and 80. But 94 and 98, I haven't been able to see a difference on the field. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. I mean, there's some that say zone coverage comes into effect sometimes on jump balls, you know, knocking it out, being in the right, a uh, little bit of there. Zone coverage really, you know, puts them in the right place for when guys are crossing through their zones and recognizing uh, the threats to their zone, deep, short, uh, and how they should play it correctly. And can you really notice a five change? Yeah, like certain stats, you can. Speed, you can really notice a five speed change. Acceleration, you can probably notice that too. But zone coverage, because it's so hard to test, I, I couldn't say I'd notice it, but. You know, obviously the better zone coverage and player rank are the two that you look for highest uh, overall. But, yeah. Um, I wouldn't skimp on it if you could, if you run a zone-heavy scheme. Um, but, anyways, let's move on. Uh, is Boss Jason Taylor a good price? It looks like he's going for less than 300 k I, I didn't check that, actually, before this. Are his stats uh, better than the cheaper, other cheaper ends right now of 95 Vic Weasley, 94 Sig, Justin Tuck? Main reason you're asking because you want a boss card in your team. Um, that is from Brandon Green. I, I will have to go check it out. Uh, let's go to muttrank.com right now. Jason Taylor. All right, so I'm back. I looked it up, and there are a few guys very comparable. Jason Taylor's really good. He's actually going for about 220 now. There are guys going for much less than that. Take a look at right outside linebacker, uh, Mr. Demarcus Ware. There's left outside linebacker, Peter Bullware. I like Von Miller, too. All the, those Bullware and Ware. Uh, Bullware's got higher block shed. Where he's got very similar stats to Boss Taylor there, but uh, if you really want a Boss card, then definitely get Jason Taylor because he is uh, pretty affordable for that spot for you. All right, moving on. Um, Smack City HD. You have you have two penises, but can arrange them where you want. Where do they go? One per body area. Only one in the crotch. I really didn't think um, ahead of time. I guess uh, if I were to put a penis, like, would it be? Do other people have it in the same area? If everybody had like penis in the same area, like why wouldn't you get it like on the forehead? Because that'd be hilarious if everybody had one on the forehead. Uh, otherwise, maybe if it was just me, I'd want it somewhere I can hide it. Maybe like a foot. You know, you know, maybe I'll, I'll just be I'll be loud and proud with it right on the chest. And that and that way it really makes more sense because it would fit between like uh, the breasts, like the other penis fits between the legs. Uh, that's how sex works. Anyways, uh, moving on to the next one. Uh, what is your favorite topic on Twitch chat? Smack City HDS, and he parentheses double penis talk. All right, uh, Logan Johnson. We'll just move on. We just talked about that. Should we expect another promo after this one? Will this one officially be the final bang? You know, I'm not. I'm not so sure. EA has surprised us before with the Memorial Day promo. A lot of the promos we didn't see coming, but I would say this is probably it. Man, uh, 17 launches about 50 days. They'll probably want to really get that going during the month of August. I'm sure we're going to keep uh, Final Editions, Ultimate Legends, Movers for a couple more weeks at least before everybody's attention really shifts over to the new game. All right, Logan Johnson also asked, with the recent new Legends and Mutts, is it safe to say, uh, besides the first ones rolled through the playoffs, we can expect them to roll out new Legends anytime they want, like they did with Lawyer and Curse. Uh, does this also mean that these guys, the ones I just mentioned, are presumed Day 1 Legends? Not, I don't think they're presumed Day 1 Legends, but I would say if they just brought them to the game right now, there really is no reason to have in 16 without putting them in 17, so I can be confident that these guys will be in 17, which is kind of cool. I really hope they do expand the legend rosters for Mutt because it is quite fun. Maybe we can get three or four legends a weekend instead of one next year, but I'm not going to hold my breath because you never know. 
All right, Isaiah Collins. I just want to know when they'll put out an upgrade for Jamie Collins. Uh, he should be getting the final edition pretty soon here. He's a great linebacker. Um, when is someone going to answer the question about normal online gameplay? Asks Eric Jones. Last year, you had to go into games blind, couldn't see players' records, couldn't change the weather, stadiums, and uniforms. It's still screwed up. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about 17 if they're going to do that. I, I really like the consistency in the games. Um, it makes like a, uh, you, it, it reduces randomness. I think is is huge because a lot of randomness in Madden as it is with aggressive catch and whatnot. Um, I I don't know if I really love the extra weather like these Fourth of July solos being in the snow is just obnoxious. It's terrible. Um, but yeah, you can change the stadiums or uniforms. I don't know regular online gameplay that you couldn't do that earlier this year. I hope it's not screwed up like that next year. All right, where in the hell did the Shark series of Nike cleats go? He's talking about my. Accessories blog, I or sorry, video that I put out on the blog earlier. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where they went. I couldn't answer you. Maybe they'll be in there and they just haven't talked about them yet. Um, Turpot says, the way their arms move look robotic and terrible. I thought the QB scramble was bad. Now they got everybody running like that. The F. Yeah, I don't know. They, they do kind of look unnatural, but they do like, you know, captures. Um, how, do you, how do you say it? Game captures of these guys. So you think it's natural because they see in the computer they they take actual players movement and bring it over based on those bulbs and whatnot uh, Ky Kyrie Irving says what do you mean by player exclusive cleats this is again in the accessories one uh, like cam Superman shoes yes that will be there I'm not sure what other player exclusive cleats are there NFL players NBA players are really more into the whole shoe deals and whatnot so we'll keep going on to the next game um, what ball? Yo, is there a way to get a practice stadium a mutt without buying it from the auction house? You would have to risk it by doing the premium alternate set, but I don't. I, I wouldn't do that. Like I'm playing on the practice field here. Uh, I just, you know, if you want something unique to play on, like aesthetics, like I, I, I rail so much against, and I'm still using these special stadiums. Uh, if you got the extra coins, yeah, go ahead. This cost me like one or two thousand coins when that mystery box opened at the start of the year, and I've kept this one and a couple other stadiums since then, along with the 46 and 43 playbooks. So they do something 17 like that, definitely invest in those ones early next year. All right, uh, on to the news section of Ask Reddit for the last few minutes of the video. Uh, so this is always fun. Is a 28-year-old and a 38-year-old a healthy relation? Yes. 10 years is not that much when you're that age. It's actually uh, fairly common. Who do you have a beef with? The Postmaster General. I've written plenty of times to that fake general and have not heard from him yet. Where did do you expect your life to be at 23? Where was it actually? I literally, I don't look two days ahead. Uh, so I live my life like Vin Diesel, one quarter mile at a time. I keep, blow, I keep getting blown off on Tinder. How the hell do people make this work? Isn't getting blown off the point of Tinder? Uh, you have $150 to survive a month on the streets. What are you buying? Well, uh, one month on the streets for $150. Like, food, how are you going to cook, I mean, ramen noodles? You can get some cheap meat there. But if you're living on the streets, maybe you want canned food. But can you get free food there from shelters? $150 to five a month, that's not much. Depends on what city you're in, too. Um, I don't know. What What am I buying? Probably a blanket. Depending on what year, time of year. If it's right now in the summer, yeah, it wouldn't be too tough. You wouldn't need a blanket. You'd probably just need some sort of shelter. But I, I don't know. That's a tough one. What's a show that should have been canceled? Actually, that's a good that's a good idea for a TV show. Uh, one month on the streets with as little money as possible. What's a show that should have never been canceled, and what's one that should be? Should have never been canceled. Firefly, obviously. One that should be. I don't know. There's a lot of crap out there. There's dozens of ones that should be. What's something that you can describe in extreme detail that other people can't? Uh, the game of Madden. I know that's in extreme detail. I know a lot of people here can do that too, but. For the general population, uh, you know, you ever play Madden? Like, because we play it quite a bit. You ever play Madden against regular people? And it's just, it's just so much like, their minds are blown. How much like, you know what's coming, everything that's happening. Alright, now that you're an elf, who, what, genu now that you're an adult, who, what genuinely makes you feel safe? Uh, my Colt 45. It makes me feel safe because it makes me warm inside and nice and drunk. I'm talking about the, the, of course, alcohol, not gun. What's the sentence that you think is, or also both of them? What's the sentence you think has never been said before? Why, Gut Fox? You're quite an entertaining person. Let's be friends. 
Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching, guy. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.